watching The Glow, presented by St. Luke's. What a great night in St. Louis and for St. Louis. Friends, the glow is happening. We are joining you from the Central Fields and Forest Park, giving you a live look from Drone 4, powered by Renewal by Anderson, where Damon, the balloons, the glow has started happening. They're all filled. 50 of them right here. 50 balloons. These massive things. And I am just blown away. Pun intended. The, yes. Below, you, well, <laughs> you always catch me with those. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, I think... People have had a fascination, right, with anything that uh, goes up in the sky mm -hmm. that flies, aviation, from planes to hot air balloons. And I think Leah Hill did the work for us. She went to see what all it takes to get one of these hot air balloons up in the sky. I did the calculation and I found out it would take nearly 4,000 balloons to lift me in the air. It's a common misconception that hot air balloons are filled with helium, but the power of air in one hot air balloon is stronger. It's like the, the crossroads of art and science. A kaleidoscope of color. It's breathtaking watching the balloons take off. Very peaceful, very relaxing. With an average pace of five to 10 miles per hour, hot air balloons give you time to pause and take in the world. And you see it from a different perspective and it, it calms you down the serenity of it. Bernoulli's principle, Newton's laws of motion, all important in the science of flying hot air balloons. In its most basic form, the power of air can be showcased with a simple demonstration. A hot air balloon is really just heating up the same air that's around us. With a lighter and alcohol acting as fuel, air is heated inside our plastic bag balloon. And when that heats up, all those air molecules just kind of spread out, become is overall less dense, so it's lighter than the air around it. This generates the lift, causing the balloon to rise. Floating up, you slowly gain that buoyancy. In hot air balloons, propane tanks fuel the fire. And uh, allows us to lift off the ground and fly. Scott Wooj is the PNC balloon pilot, also known as the hair balloon. He is the first one off, leading the pack. The other balloons are the hounds, with the aim to get as close as possible to the hare's landing spot. The weather on the day determines the pace of the race. Balloons are fair weather. We only fly when it's less than 10 miles an hour and no thunderstorms in a vicinity of 175 miles. He let me in on the secret to steering balloons. The steering in a balloon is very easy. We can't. The winds at the lowest level of our atmosphere are critical. Winds from the south will blow the balloons north. Winds from the west will blow the balloons over downtown. We are at the mercy of Mother Nature. Historically, the third week of September offers the best weather for balloon racing in our area. Flying from the middle of St. Louis in, in Forest Park, you get to see things that you wouldn't see driving on the highway or a street. So uh, those are all kind of cool things that every flight is like that. Leah Hill, First Alert 4. So happy that we have made it to the perfect weekend, the third weekend in September yes. for the 52nd annual Great Forest Park Balloon Race presented by PNC Bank. Before we go, another live look at the glow getting started here on the Emerson Central Fields in Forest Park. You're watching The Glow presented by St. Luke's.